Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen on Excel 2 here. <clears throat> Do a little bit of housekeeping while we're hanging out. Um, so now you've done a real math quiz. I mean, you did the syllabus quiz earlier, but um, you know, that was a real math quiz that kind of sets you up for what it's like to do the assessments. I mean, quizzes, tests, that's all kind of in the same category. Of course, tests are much heavier weighting and cover a lot more topics. But I really think that's important. The experience of doing the quiz is important, um, partly because of what I like to call the theory of learning. This is kind of a simplified version of something that I've been working on and thinking about, specifically in regards to math. I mean, there's a lot more complicated theories of learning by people who are educational specialists. But, um, you know, if you, you think about, you get some instruction, maybe that comes from me, maybe that comes from a video. Um, and they're just kind of showing you how something works. And then there's guided practice, and that's where you're doing some work, but you have support. Uh, you know, if you're working a problem while somebody else is doing it, I wouldn't really call that guided practice. Guided practice, I would think of as more like you see the problem and you get started with it, but you know if you have a question, you can stop and ask for help, or you can, you know, rewind the video or unpause the video and watch the next part. Independent practice is a really important phase that sometimes gets overlooked. It's the part where you're practicing, but you're not using support. So you're not asking for help. You're not looking at your notes. You're not uh, going back and watching the video again. You're just trying to see, can I do this without access and recourse to any kind of notes, right? So just to take a non-math example, like uh, a year ago, I learned how to solder pipes together. I was doing some plumbing projects and you know at the beginning I had to watch my friend do it he was just telling me here's how it goes and he showed me how to do it and then the next couple of times it was guided practice because you know maybe I kind of was like okay well, I got my blow torch here and I'm gonna do it let me go back and look at this video again or ask Mike what he thinks about what I'm doing and eventually you know I'm doing it independently and I'm not asking for help and I feel like okay I know how it goes now the next level up, because independent practice is not the top of the top of the pile, the next level up is performance practice. And that's where um, you're feeling pressure on because of something about the setup. And the reason that that's important if you're thinking about really doing well in performance is that um, when you guys take quizzes and tests, and maybe you just felt it when you took this quiz, I don't know, um, maybe you felt a little extra pressure. You know, maybe you felt like, so this counts for something and now all of a sudden I feel anxiety about doing stuff. Uh, one of the things that anxiety does is it blocks short-term recall and so if you have stuff kind of locked up in your brain that you can't get access to sometimes that makes you perform worse than you're capable really capable of doing because you are feeling anxious um, and the way through that is through more practice and through performance practice to make sure that you know what it feels like to have that anxiety and like, what am I going to do with it? Or I know it backwards and forwards. So even if I feel anxious, I'm going to be able to access what I need to do. Um, and then the final level is performance. And that's what in math class, that's quizzes and tests. Um, so, there's more pressure in those situations because like in this one, you only have 30 minutes. It counts for something, right? You can't, well, I mean, even though you can do a retake and that's part of what the retakes are about is to make it feel less stressful. It's still, you know, someone's grading it, you're getting judged by what you know, and it's just this pressure there. So um, I just wanted to introduce this concept to you because typically in math, what I think happens a lot is people jump from the guided practice up to the performance. And if you find yourself in the middle of a performance, a quiz, and you realize like, or, or everything goes out of your brain, um, it probably just means there, there needed to be more repetition, right? And that's part of what you have got to figure out as a student, because the instructor is going to say, okay, here's the information. 
here's some practice for you, and then here's how I'm going to assess whether you know it or not. And your job as a student is to figure out about you individually, like what does it take for me to be ready for this assessment that this guy has cooked up for me, or this woman has cooked up for me. And so one of the things I think is really important about my class, and I, I wrote a few people when I was writing and responding to logbooks, especially for people who want to do the nursing program, you know, this is a class which has some direct application to being a nurse in terms of conversions and dosages and things. But I think moreover, it's just a class which is packed. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of hard work. It's rigorous. It's challenging. Um, but you're also with somebody who's supporting you in thinking. It's one of my essential learnings is thinking about yourself as a student and what do you need to do to prioritize, manage your time, you know, organize all of these complex tasks and what get, has to get done first. And so, um, you know, that's part of what I, I hope to get out of this eight weeks is really that, that experience.